The Type 05 Amphibious Armored Vehicle is a family of amphibious tracked armored fighting vehicles developed by Narinko for the People's Liberation Army Navy Marine Corps. The Type 05 consists of two main combat variants, the Type 05 Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the ZTD-05 Assault Vehicle, as well as several support variants based on the ZBD-05. The Type 05 can be launched at sea from an amphibious assault ship over the horizon and features a hydroplane a design concept that has been compared to the cancelled United States Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle Program. As a dedicated amphibious combat vehicle, the Type 05 is aiming to provide unique amphibious capabilities that emphasizes speedy landing operations. China is currently the only country to produce such unique high-speed amphibious fighting vehicles. The Type 05 Amphibious Infantry Fighting Vehicle uses a planing hull propelled by two water jets, which is a considerable improvement over the similar type of vehicles like the AAV-7A1 Amphibious Assault Vehicle from the United States. The United States cancellation of the Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle leaves China the only country to produce such a vehicle with such a unique concept. The ZTD-05 Assault Vehicle variant replaces the obsolete Type 63A amphibious tank introduced in the late 1990s. Research and development effort is reflected on the capable design. The vehicle implicates that China is determined to secure advanced amphibious assault capabilities. The Type 05 features a flat hull, extendable bow, with six retractable road wheels on each side as well as front and rear rollers. The vehicle's design results in significantly reduced drag. The angle of the bow changes adaptively according to the displacement of the speedometer so that the fluid resistance can always be kept at the lowest optimal level. The ZBD-05 is fully amphibious which is propelled by two large water jets mounted to the rear side of the hull. In the water, the engine is able to generate 1475 horsepowers as well as switching to land mode with only 550 horsepowers. The vehicle can run at a maximum road speed of 65 km per hour and 30 km per hour in the water. It has a maximum cruising range of 500 km and can negotiate a gradient of 60% and a side slope of 30%. It can cross a vertical obstacle of 0.7 meters and a trench of 2 meters. The infantry fighting vehicle variant, the ZBD-05, is built to support infantry and amphibious assault operations. The three-man crew consists of a driver positioned from the front left of the turret with a commander and gunner occupying the turret. The vehicle features the ZPT-99 30mm cannon with a HJ-73C ATGM rail launcher, capable of penetrating more than 800mm of rolled homogeneous armor after ERA. The vehicle can carry 7-8 to eight armed infantry in its passenger compartment at the rear. The assault vehicle variant ZTD-05 is armed with a fully stabilized ZPL-98 105mm rifled gun. The ZTD-05 assault vehicle variant has a crew of about 4 people including a lot. The type of APF SDS round fitted on the ZTD-05 is the DTC-02 105 armor piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabo based on the BTA-2 105mm APF SDS capable of penetrating 600mm of rolled homogeneous armor at 2000m. The rifle gun is also capable of launching laser guided beam riding missiles. The gun is loaded manually with a fire rate of 6 to 8 rounds per minute with 36 rounds ammo reserve. The ZTD 05's turret shares a similar layout to the ZTL 11 assault vehicle. Secondary weapons for both variants include a Type 86 7.26mm coaxial mounted machine gun, the ZDT 05 features a QJC-88 12.7mm anti-aircraft gun mounted on the roof of the turret near the loader. Accuracy and precision are attained by a computerized fire control system on both the ZBD-05 and the ZTD-05. The fire control system includes a fire ballistic controller, laser rangefinder, two plane stabilization, and daylight infrared gunner sight with passive night vision channels. The commander has access to the day and night independent thermal sight with hunter killer capabilities. The Type 05 is fitted with a battle management system, command and control system, digital map interface, and all the necessary information is displayed on the screen to the driver, commander, and the gun. The ZTD 05 is equipped with a laser range designator for beam riding, sack loss applications, and loader position is also fitted with an independent periscope. 
The vehicle has satellite navigation, fire suppression systems, and NBC protection systems, as well as day and night thermal vision, ensuring high degrees of survivability for the crew. The hull is constructed with aluminium alloy chassis with additional steel glacius plates. Aluminium alloy reduces the weight and provides protection against small arms rounds and shell splinters, while the steel plates can stop 12.7mm rounds. The turret is constructed of all welded steel armour with composite plates, which gives all-round protection against 12.7mm rounds and shell splinters. The front face of the turret is claimed to be able to stop 25mm armour-piercing rounds at 1000m. The upper part of the suspension is protected by armour plates. Both the ZBD-05 and ZTD-05 are fitted with laser warning receivers which are connected to two sets of force barrel smoke grenade launchers. The storage area around the aft section doubles as a slat armor. There are currently 1,500 units in service as of 2022. Thank you for listening and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.